Spoil my memory. This one is a doozy. Uh, well, it's a doozy is easy. I don't know if doozy is supposed to be mean, hard, or easy. But these are some crazy ass chords. Uh, this is. I would call this a B flat minor 13th. But you play this. Then you release it. Then you use your pinky. And you keep that there and slide it down. And the other part is your A flat major thirteenth. You release your pinky. Then A flat minor thirteenth. Oh, sorry. <laughs> A minor with a f lower thirteenth. Or a minor thirteenth? Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. What I do here is I leave my pinky on the E string so I don't play that so much. It's a killer on the wrist because you really gotta do it real tight. After this you will have like killer grip and you can play Mercy with anyone like... <laughs> um, yeah, that's that part, the beginning. Um, yeah, and you end on the uh, A minor. got your descending thing. You hold the A and then you go there's that part. Uh, the heavy part after that is I like to do that rev up thing more with the more the later songs we've been writing. Uh, to the B flat. Is this in five? And, um, yeah, this is in five too. Or five also. In five, four time. Good grief. That's that. Uh, after that, play the F and the F above. And you kind of... Yes. So, you play the F. This riff goes on top of when you go from F to G. So it sounds like... That's, you're going from G to A, up above while holding the A. And then you kind of fret the D, but you're still playing this G to A. I throw in a little bit here of going from D to E, so it sounds like...
that's a F major but I release the middle finger so you're playing a G That's that part. You just kind of slow down with the strumming toward the end of it. Then we go back to the F. And then we go the. The second time we do this part, it gets tricky because we don't do it twice. It goes like this. And then to G. And then F major seventh? This one. And then to the E power chord. And then E minor inverted. And then E major inverted. So it sounds like... super crazy part is A, C, then you leave the D and C, D and G open, the third and fourth strings. You This rhythm is, we worked on for a really long time, but here's it in slow motion. Here it is in slow motion. Then you play a G. Then a G sharp. Yeah, you do the power chords and then Instead of this, you do this. I don't know. Either way sounds the same, but it's basically. And then, and then this, and this. That's how it is at the very end. Spoil my memory. Oh yeah, I don't know if I... find the remote. Oh, here it is. Mm, boop. <laughs>